our standard operating procedures so that everything we do now, we, we did everything right by the book except ignore the alarms. And so what we've done is we built in a redundancy. We're going to slow down as we fill up the tank. We used to fill, let's say, 10 gallons. Stop, wait, measure, make sure it's good, another 10 gallons. And since we've, we've slowed it down, we'll do five gallons now. Stop, wait, check, and fill it up that way. Slower and less efficient, but we think it's a prudent approach to making sure. Will the public the get the notification of the alarm? Do we get to hear the alarm? Will the alarm go off, or do we have to depend on you saying, well, maybe it's better if the public doesn't know because they'll panic and act weird and they'll try well, and. I'll tell you, sir, if you yeah. live near Red Hill, you yeah. might be able to hear that alarm. So I don't know where you live. I don't live on Red Hill. Okay, so we don't have a system now to do kind of a... Uh, there will uh, be no right automatic uh, info, info, information to the public if the alarm thresholds are exceeded. Not true. Is that correct? Not true. Because if we have a release, if we determine... So let me tell you real quick now. Yeah. An alarm does not make a leak. So remember your high school, remember yeah. your high school science, sir. Chemistry, we don't care. We want to hear the alarm. I, I, you know. I got you. So the chemistry... The, get some false alarms based on that. So what we would do is if we get an alarm, we check it. If we do have a release, you will know because we have to immediately notify DOH. So the public will know. But, well, so we it's not an, auto it's not an so automatic. We'll, we'll, talk more, and we'll talk more about that in the QA about maybe breaking that process. So I, I'm, I'm with you on that one. But we have a way of notifying the public if right. we do have a release. Right. And Captain Hayes. Our next question is, from Doug, Mr. H. Doug Matsuo. That would be me. And his question reads, what health effects will appear in the community as a result of fuel pollution of the water supply? How will it affect adults, children, the unborn fetus, and animals and pets? Again, there, as I mentioned earlier, there is no measurable fuel pollution of the water supply above any regulatory standard. Um, the Red Hill shaft drinking water supply that serves the Navy has had historically some trace detections well below any health-based standard set by EPA in the state. Well, listen, you know, I, this question was asked the last time, and that's not really my question. We know that from the figures that the Navy themselves have produced is that between 1947 and 1985, 206,000 gallons of fuel has leaked from there, right? Nobody knows where that went. You have some monitoring wells. Well, if the, if the pollution gets into the water, what will you be looking for? What kind of health, uh, ill health effects will you be looking for? Will people, you know, will it be an increase in tumors? Uh, will it be an increase in birth defects? Will cats and dogs start, you know, running around in circles? What? That's what we want to know because we want to know what to look for in our communities if there's pollution in the water from these leaking fuel, fuel tanks. So, what health effect? What are we looking for in terms of detrimental health effects? Water, Should we be the looking water for? Being tested on a regular basis. If the water has pollution, the water will not be used. As Look, what if you miss it? What should we be on the lookout for in terms of the health of our people? We need the Navy. We are committed to ensuring the water safety. Okay, then, then, then you don't know and you're not going to tell us. You know, it's okay, so we made this statement, but I don't think, you know, we're not going to let it get to the point that dogs are running around yeah. in circles. I mean, we will, before it gets to that point, we will have indication from our water Yeah, what, will, what are we looking for in terms of health defects? Should we be aware of what happens? What happens when fuel gets in the water and we drink it? What do we look for? What, what's going to happen? Is hair going to fall out? Tumors increase? Okay. What? I, I think I understand your yeah. question. I'm going to make Bob Pellerino from EPA. Now, I'm not a toxicologist, but I have well, some information. So let me just sort of let me just sure. to answer your question. Yeah. So what you're saying is, is this contamination that exists that's coming from Red Hill, how will we know whether or not it's affecting us what will it affect if you guys don't catch it? That's what I want to know. Yeah, it was my question. So, I'm asking yes, my question. I'm trying to answer it. So, in order to have ill health effects, there has to be some way for that contamination to be getting into your body. Right. What are the health effects? That's all I want to know. What are, what are the health effects of jet fuel? If it was benzene pollution that you 
were being exposed to, yes. you would be have a certain risk of developing cancer. Increased cancer. And we'd be happy to share, there is data and studies on health effects of fuel. There's an agency called Agency for the yeah. Toxic Substances. You can't, you can't tell us? We're, yeah, we're, you're will, protecting us from this, this risk. You, what is the risk? I, I what is the risk? I provide you the reports that describe it. But tell it us, just tell us what it is. Already we know increased risk of cancer, birth defects. I mean, what? Again, it, it all you can't tell us. So I, I think if you go back to the slides of the folks that were involved, yeah. uh, we have a lot of experts that are overseeing us. Great. Do you want the answer? Or we want the answer. We, the we want the answer. So what are the health that effects? Are the over here, one of them is the Board of Water Supply, your own Board of Water Supply. Uh, he's a subject that matter expert and part of the process for the AOC. I'm sure that they are watching the results that we post on the website to the Department of Health. And if we get anywhere near being anywhere close, I am sure the Board of Water Supply is going to raise an alarm and say, hey, we do not want to drink that water. But well before we get to any point where there's going to be birth defects or anything like that, we're going to tell you that the water is not safe to drink. <laughs> and Navy's going to be committed to come in and put a, some sort of filtration device to remove that contaminant. So we will not get to that point.